Mr. Pickles is a very interesting cat who chose Bayview on his own. He d showed up on our doorstep a few times, and of course there were soft-hearted people that thought, oh, I'll just give him something to eat. So he kept coming back. He figured out how the glass double doors worked in the front of the building and just strode in and everyone fell in love with him and thought he was so cute. We already knew him. He'd come across the street to sit by the fireplace in the winter time. And one time the maintenance men watched him. He came across the street and he tried to open the door and it wouldn't open. So he looked up at the sensor and backed up and the door opened and he came on in and sat by the fireplace. <laughs> He's a smart cat. He was so thin and small, we thought he was a kitten, that somebody, he might be abandoned or something like that. He had an owner, but the owner was seldom home and actually had been in the hospital a few times and away. He was not getting proper nutrition and care. His owner had to move and he said he couldn't take a pet with him. A guy came in saying, you don't know me, but you know my cat, Mr. Pickles, and everybody, oh, that's his name. He came over and asked if we would like to have Mr. Pickles. Well, yes, of course, of course we did. People started feeding him, and he started growing to what he is today, which is way big, like me. Well, my sister, who passed away about three years ago, heard there were raccoons outside. So she said we can't let Pickle run around outside during the night. So she started picking him up and bringing him up to her apartment. Well, then when she became ill and she was in our health center, she asked me if I'd take care of Pickle because she was really concerned about him. So then I started bringing him up here. Then she passed away. So then I've been bringing Pickle up here every night. So I never really lived with a cat until Pickle started coming. He's such a friendly little cat, and I guess I really like him. And he comes, and he, he stays in, in this apartment all night, sleeps here or on top of my bed. And in the morning when I wake up, he's usually in my bed, and he comes up and he taps my face to let me know he's there. <laughs> and then I give him a couple of treats, and he goes back to bed, and he sleeps here. I go down and exercise and come back up here about 9 o'clock, and then I pick him up and take him downstairs. The people who live here tell me that cat is not yours. It belongs to Bayview, so you be sure and bring him down. <laughs> so, so I do. He weighs 17 pounds. I just had him, I just had him have a physical. He owns the first floor, and he picks where he's going to go in the offices, and sometimes he'll hang out with you for weeks at a time, and then you won't see him forever and ever. You know, when people go out every day, a lot, several of them go out and walk out on the terrace, and he follows them and walks with them, and they love that. He's sort of my garden helper. He, he follows me around in the, in the garden um, when I'm out there working. I have seen people who don't like people talk only to Mr. Pickles. One of my favorite things too is there are several residents with canes and Mr. Pickles loves to lay on his back and then they take their cane and kind of rub his stomach, you know. I find that residents really like him and staff really like him. He's just a really, uh, like a mainstay in the baby family. <laughs> He's a real people person. He comes to all our events. If we have a, a party downstairs, he's right in the middle of it. And he comes to our Vesper services, and if when our chaplain stands up to give her sermon, he'll take the chair and sit there. <laughs> she said, one time I almost sat on him. I didn't know he was sitting there. <laughs> he goes to meetings and, and oh, goes to the movies. When the movie's going on, he walks in front of the screen. He just lets everyone know that he's here. He's a really great cat. This is Mr. Pickles helping with a chore in the lobby. He is resetting the clock in the lobby for daylight saving time. And I just had to get a picture of him standing on the furniture to reset the clock for us so we'd have our clocks right. He's like one of them. He is he needs socialization. 
He needs someone to make sure that he has a warm place to sleep, that he has toys, he has food. I think that it's an important part of people's day to connect with this animal that's here and say hello and pet him. He just has an ability to relate to a lot of different people in his own special way. And when he was quite ill, I mean, everybody was very concerned. He's one of them. He just is. He's a lot of company. He's, he's, he doesn't seem unhappy to be here. He um, kind of runs the place, actually. He's very much a part of the community. He's well loved by everyone. By everyone. Now I haven't heard anyone compl complain about him. They've all gotten to know him, I guess. He's done very well by himself, <laughs> and he doesn't have to pay any rent. <laughs> That's Mr. Pickles. Came across the street, and he never went back home. <laughs>